Feldspars oxide are a group of rock forming tectosilicate minerals that make up about 41% of the Earth's continental crust by weight. Feldspars crystallize from magma as veins in both intrusive and extrusive igneous rocks and are also present in many types of metamorphic rock. Rock formed almost entirely of calcic plagioclase feldspar is known as anorthosite. Feldspars are also found in many types of sedimentary rocks. Etymology The name feldspar derives from the German feldspat, a compound of the words feld field", and spat meaning, a rock that does not contain ore. The change from spat to spa was influenced by the English word spa, meaning a non-opaque mineral with good cleavage. Feldspathic refers to materials that contain feldspar. The alternate spelling, feldspar, has fallen out of use. Compositions This group of minerals consists of tectosilicates. Compositions of major elements in common feldspars can be expressed in terms of three endmembers Potassium feldspar K -spar endmember Cal C308 Albite endmember Null C308 Anorthite endmember CaAl2 silicon oxide, solid solutions between K feldspar and albite are called alkali feldspar. Solid solutions between albite and anorthite are called plagioclase, or more properly, plagioclase feldspar. Only limited solid solution occurs between K feldspar and anorthite, and in the two other solid solutions, emissibility occurs at temperatures common in the crust of the earth. Albite is considered both a plagioclase and alkali feldspar. Topic: Alkali feldspars. Alkali feldspars are grouped into two types: those containing potassium in combination with sodium, aluminum, or silicon, and those where potassium is replaced by barium. The first of these include orthoclase monoclinic calci 308 sanidine monoclinic KNA aluminium silicide 08 microcline triclinic calci 308 Anorthoclase triclinic Na, K, aluminium silicide O8, potassium and sodium feldspars are not perfectly miscible in the melt at low temperatures, therefore intermediate compositions of the alkali feldspars occur only in higher temperature environments. Sanidine is stable at the highest temperatures, and microcline at the lowest. Perthite is a typical texture in alkali feldspar, due to exsolution of contrasting alkali feldspar compositions during cooling of an intermediate composition. The perthitic textures in the alkali feldspars of many granites can be seen with the naked eye. Micropathitic textures in crystals are visible using a light microscope, whereas cryptopathitic textures can be seen only with an electron microscope. <laughs> Barium feldspars Barium feldspars are also considered alkali feldspars. Barium feldspars form as the result of the substitution of barium for potassium in the mineral structure. The barium feldspars are monoclinic and include the following Celsian Bal 2 silicon oxide, Hyalophane K, Bar Al, C 408. <laughs> Plagioclase feldspars The plagioclase feldspars are triclinic. The plagioclase series follows with percent anorthite in parentheses. Albite 0 to 10 Nal C308. Oligoclase 10 to 30 Na Ca Al C aluminium silicide 08. Andesine 30 to 50 Nal C308. CaAl2 silicon oxide. Labradorite 50 to 70 Ca Na Al Al C silicon oxide Bitownite 70 to 90 sodium silicide CaAl aluminium silicide 08 
Anorthite 90 to 100 CaAl2 silicon oxide. Intermediate compositions of plagioclase feldspar also may exsolve to two feldspars of contrasting composition during cooling, but diffusion is much slower than in alkali feldspar, and the resulting two feldspar intergrowths typically are too fine grained to be visible with optical microscopes. The emissibility gaps in the plagioclase solid solutions are complex compared to the gap in the alkali feldspars. The play of colors visible in some feldspar of labradorite composition is due to very fine-grained exsolution lamellae. The specific gravity in the plagioclase series increases from albite 2.62 g per cc to anorthite 2.72 to 2.75 g per cc. Topic: Weathering Chemical weathering of feldspars results in the formation of clay minerals such as illite and kaolinite. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Production and uses. About 20 million tons of feldspar were produced in 2010, mostly by three countries: Italy 4.7 mt, Turkey 4.5 mt. And China 2 mt. Feldspar is a common raw material used in glassmaking, ceramics, and to some extent as a filler and extender in paint, plastics, and rubber. In glassmaking, alumina from feldspar improves product hardness, durability, and resistance to chemical corrosion. In ceramics, the alkalis in feldspar calcium oxide, potassium oxide, and sodium oxide act as a flux, lowering the melting temperature of a mixture. Fluxes melt at an early stage in the firing process, forming a glassy matrix that bonds the other components of the system together. In the U.S., about 66% of feldspar is consumed in glassmaking, including glass containers and glass fiber. Ceramics including electrical insulators, sanitaryware, pottery, tableware, and tile and other uses, such as fillers, accounted for the remainder. Bon AMI, which had a mine near Little Switzerland, North Carolina, used feldspar as an abrasive in its cleaners. The Little Switzerland Business Association says the McKinney mine was the largest feldspar mine in the world, and North Carolina was the largest producer. Feldspar had been discarded in the process of mining mica until William Dibble sent a premium quality product to the Ohio company Golding & Sons around 1910. In earth sciences and archaeology, feldspars are used for KR dating, argon argon dating, and luminescence dating. In October 2012, the Mars Curiosity rover analyzed a rock that turned out to have a high feldspar content. Topic Images Topic See also List of minerals, a list of minerals for which there are articles on Wikipedia, List of countries by feldspar production.